Good morning. My name is Olivia, and I'm one of the worship leaders here at Solid Rock. If you're a guest, we're glad you're here. And if you've been here before, we're glad you're back. In a few moments, our worship team is going to get up and lead us in a few songs, and then our pastor is going to get up to preach. But before all that, I'd like to share a few ways you can get involved this week. Our last Shared Harvest Food Bank will be May 24th. We will have some changes coming in June, so if you have any questions, you can see Sister Nicole Epley. Ladies, there is prayer here at the church every Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. I know your life will be greatly changed, so make plans to attend. Also every Tuesday is Be Free at 7 p.m. out in the Fellowship Building. If you have any questions, you can see the Venturas. Now that you know about a few of our upcoming events, I'd like to thank you for spending part of your weekend with us here at Solid Rock. To us, church is more than just a Sunday service, and there's lots of things happening. So here's some ways you can get involved. Number one, if you're a guest, we ask that you fill out our Connect card and take it out to the Welcome Center in the lobby for a free gift. Number two, if you're looking for more information about upcoming events and links to our services, you can visit our website at gosrac.com. Thanks for joining us. Let's have a great service. Praise the Lord, everyone. Man, turn to your neighbor and say you're looking good today. You sounded pretty convincing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We're going to start the service off a, uh, a little bit different today. Uh, first, welcome to Pentecost Sunday. Welcome to Pentecost Sunday. Yeah. We'll get the, as I like to say, we'll get the juice flowing here before it's all said and done. Uh, but we want to start off with a baby dedication uh, today, and, and this is a beautiful thing that that we that we like to do. As Jesus blesses us, we in return want to give back to God what He has given to us. And anything that's in God's hands is protected. Anything that's in God's hands is protected. In Matthew chapter 18, it reads at the at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself, as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And who shall, who shall receive one such little child in my name? What's, what's his name? Jesus. In my name receiveth me. But who shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me? It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Verse 9. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should, should perish. I'm ex extremely thankful today. I, I've gone through this cycle uh, a few times. And a, um, one of the things about having a child is you're not guaranteed to, uh, to pick and choose what the child's going to look like. You're, you don't have a choice on whether you're going to have a boy or a girl. You know, you just kind of like, you know, you know, and all the myths and the theories out there, they're all lies. <laughs> you don't get to pick and choose. Only God, only God knows. And in a day and age today that we live in, children's lives are not treasured in today's society. They're not treasured. But every child is a gift from God. Every child. You say, Pastor, what if, what if that child was not brought into the world the right way? Every child is a gift from God. We, as, as Christians, we believe in that as well. And although we don't get to choose, although we don't get to choose what we what we will be have, there is a process that the Lord shared with us, and this is the adoption process. The adoption. How many knows that you're adopted today? 
You say, Pastor, no, I'm not. You, you are adopted today. We have been adopted as sons and daughters into the kingdom of heaven. God said, I want you. I want you. He looked down at your life and he said, I want you. I remember going through the adoption process and I remember going to these classes and we had to go to a lot of classes. Um, one of the things that they kept on trying to tell us is, is this. They said, your chances of adopting a baby are very slim, slim, slim to none, which was very discouraging for us when we was going to the classes. But they kept on trying to say, but if you want to adopt a teenager, there's all kinds of them. And I thought, that's kind of weird, you know, why, why, why would that be the case? Well, here's the case. Teenagers are set in their own ways. The older they get, the more that they've been around a biological or whatever. And a lot of times foster parents don't want the hassle of getting olders to, and, and they don't want to adopt them because they're already kind of set in their ways. They've got certain issues, certain things going on. I thought to myself, well, that's, that's sad. You've got all these kids that don't have a steady uh, home or an environment. And, and I remember thinking to myself, certainly someone has got to heed the call. So adoption is a beautiful thing. We get to choose, we get to choose who we want, who we want. The Lord chose you because it's who we wanted. And today's a very beautiful baby dedication or children dedication because Sister Nellie and Brother David have chosen to go into this realm of adoption because they, they see the need and they, they feel the love. They feel the love. They want the best for these children. And I think, I think Jesus is smiling down on us and he says, well, he, I, I know exactly what this is about because Jesus did the same thing for us. And so today we are going to, we are going to dedicate uh, Katie May, which is, which is a very unique story. And Katie May has a special place in my heart because I think Sir Daniel knows where I want to go with this. My very, I was so nervous. I, when I first started pastor, I'm like, you know, will they like me? Will they not like me? You know, et cetera. And I remember, this is going to sound kind of crazy. I got my first phone call where someone was sick in the hospital. And it was like, okay, okay. And she said, could you please just pray for Katie May? She's not doing good. She was a baby. She was in the hospital. She was just born, I believe, or not too far. And they, uh, she had a, a, a very serious sickness. And I said, well, I could pray over the phone, but I'd rather just go there. She said, no, 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 you don't have to do that. We're under a level three snow emergency. And me, I was just like this rambunctious, like, I don't care, I'm going. You know what I'm saying? So I got in the car and we head on down 49, went to the hospital, stayed and prayed. And, and really it was, it was the first time as pastor I'd went to the hospital and prayed for someone. So Katie May's got a really special place in my heart because I was there with her uh, whenever she was first born. She was my test. Are you going to do the easy and pray over the phone? Or are you going to make that 45 minute drive or longer and go pray with her? And I'm so glad I'm so glad that I get to pastor these children. I'm so thankful. It's an honor, honor to serve them. I want to give a, I want to give a few things and then we're going to play a video. So if they get it ready to play, I'm going to tell you a little something about being a father uh, that chose to adopt. Some myths out there that are totally false that I want to give it to you. All right. So maybe not only for the people in church, maybe someone's watching today. Someone might think that, well, you don't love them because they're not biologically yours. You don't love them like you love yours. And I'm going to tell you in this place, whoever said that's a liar. You don't know what you're talking about. You, you have no idea what you're talking about. You love them just the same as you would any of your children. There comes a point where you don't look at it like I adopted you. You look at it it's like I'm blessed because God gave me. God gave this to me. And it's a blessing. It is a blessing. It is a blessing from God. God looks down and, and he says to you, he says, I'm going to give you a blessing with the child. Some look at it as a responsibility. I look at it like, man, this is the best thing that could ever happen to me outside the Holy Ghost. And 
a few different kind of conceptions out there that says, well, they'll always revert back to their biological state. That's not true. That ain't true. The Bible doesn't even say that. The Bible says you train up a child in the way that they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. Do we believe in the Word or not? Do we believe in the Word or not? There's no spirits that attach to children. Every child is born with potential. With potential. The only thing that, that separates them from greatness a lot of times is the environment that they are around. And today, in today's uh, baby dedication, Katie, May, and Caleb are in a beautiful environment. They are in an environment where they've got praying parents, praying mom and dad. They're in an environment, and even when Citronelli, uh, after her surgery, 2020, going over her house, she still got that environment there where, where these children can grow in the presence of God. Let me tell you, God knows what He's doing. He knows what He's doing today. So today, we're, we're not only going to celebrate this, but we're going to allow, allow for God's presence to reign true today. We've got a small video that we want to play uh, on behalf of the family, and then I'm going to ask the family to come, and we will pray and dedicate these children back to the Lord. Is this all right, everybody? Is this all right? It's a beautiful thing. Hey, Amen. They play the video.
what beautiful, what beautiful kids, <laughs> beautiful children. At this time, I'd like for the family to join me, family and friends and guests that's with them today. If you would join me up here. Now, how many remembers when Pastor was reading the Christmas, uh, the Christmas story book, and Caleb was just jibber jabbering away? It's his time. It's his, it's his time. Amen. Man, church, if you could stand. Amen. We want to do some committals before the Lord. In our day and age that we live in today, parents, it's so important to be intentional about everything. Everything that we do must be done with, with, with precise precision and aiming towards the gospel for several reasons. Number one, our world is more evil. Evil, it, the, pro, the prophecies become true. They truly are calling good evil and evil good. If we let Hollywood train them, then they won't even know what bathroom to use. Man. Oh, don't ever think about that. But if we train them up in the fear of the Lord, then God will use them greatly for His kingdom. God will use them greatly for His kingdom. And one thing about this family is they make sure that 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 these children go to Sunday school. They're in church. They're faithful. They're faithful people. With that, and keeping God first, I, I like their chances. I love their chances. But today we want to do some committals on our behalf. If you agree with this, please say we do. We do. In the sight of God and the presence of all these witnesses, do you promise to bring up these children in the fear and admonition of the Lord? Do you promise to lead them early in their life and to have a relationship with God as a priority in their life? Do you promise to adhere to all of the Bible and the great plan of salvation found in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38? Now church, this is, this is a committal towards us. It's important that we take, we take some measures because if an environment helps or hinders a child, then what would a church environment, what does a church environment do? I want these children to continue to grow up in God's blessing because the church is unified and we are on fire for the Lord. So church, do you promise to do your absolute best to keep this a loving church? Keep this a church where there is no division. Keep this a church where we value every life. Keep this church a place where we believe in the salvation according to God's word. If we are going to do that, would you join me in saying we do? We do. This time I'd like for the ministry team to, to, uh, to join me. We are going to anoint these children in the Lord.
Amen. We want to we want to give them some Bibles, some Biblos, <laughs> some Bibles. So beginner Bible for budding. Oh, wow. He took that with quickness. He's ready to read. <laughs> Amen. And you're in, in your Bible. Amen. We love you. As we give the family a hand as they're heading back. Thank you for stepping in and stepping up. As Brother Dustin comes, how many's ready for some church? For some church. Amen. Brother Dustin. Amen. Get us going. Lord bless. Look, praise the Lord. We're not out of beautiful ceremony. No, I just want to testify myself. God has blessed me with two. And I just want to say that things are in the mix. And I'm so thankful for my children today. I just want to say that things are in the works. And I'm so thankful this morning. You know, it's so good to be in the house of the Lord this morning on Pentecost Sunday. And I just want to say, how many are glad to be part of the Upper Room Church? How many are glad to be a part of when the Holy Ghost is poured out? That it's the same Holy Ghost then, it's the same Holy Ghost today. You know, the Bible says that they continue steadfastly in the Apostles' doctrine steadfastly and I'm thankful for a church that, didn't, that stood the test of time and that's why we're standing here today because of faith like brother Jeffrey talked about this morning if you don't have the Holy Ghost today you can't have it you can have it this morning so while we lift our hands and pray over service Lord Jesus we thank you God we thank you Lord for the Holy Ghost this morning God we thank you Lord for all that you've done already this morning for every blessing God we thank you Lord for the opportunity to be in your house and to serve and to worship you Lord God, we thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory, God. We pray that you have your way today, have your way this morning, God. As you anoint the worship team, anoint the man of God as he preaches, God, that you move in a mighty way, Lord. Have your way this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's worship. Come on, church. I wonder if there's anybody that came in on Pentecost Sunday ready to worship our high king. Hallelujah. Whoa. That we might be come his righteousness. His body was broken for our transgressions. But I'm so glad that's not where the story ends. The lamb that was slain that day rose in victory. Since that day, sin has lost its grip on me. Hallelujah, he's alive. Hallelujah, he's alive. Aren't you so thankful that he's alive? Hallelujah. 
gave me a reason to dance. He gave me a reason to dance. Hallelujah. Gave me a reason to dance. I'm dancing out of my grave. Let there be freedom in this 
Is there to say? Yes, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. God, we are so thankful, God, for what we feel this morning. God, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't think God's done yet. I don't think God's done yet. I don't think He's finished. I don't think He's done yet. Hallelujah. He's not finished. Sweep this place, Lord. Sweep this place, God. God, sweep this place, Lord. Have your way today, God. Have your way today, God. Move, God. Have your way today, God. Hallelujah. God, be you worthy, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus this time if brother Jason would come with the announcements hallelujah thank you Jesus praise God Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Praise God. If you want to return back to your seats, you can. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. <laughs> praise God, praise God. When you got to move of the Holy Ghost, sometimes you got to break the outline. So we'll do offering at the end of service. We'll do it at the end of service. God always supplies off our needs. Amen. I want them to keep on singing. Let's keep on worshiping. Amen. How many feels the worship in this house? Me feels the worship in this house today. Let's worship. Let's continue to worship the Lord as they give their best to Jesus. Oh, 
prospered When the darkness falls it won't prevail Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph My God will never fail Oh my God, we'll never fail. Let's sing it out. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. For the battle. There's power in the mighty name of Jesus Every war he wages he will win So I'm not backing down from any giant No I won't Cause I know how this story is Do you know now? Yes I know how this story is I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Yes, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Oh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a. Victory.
upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before Worship the Lord. Let's wait on the Lord. Let's wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's wait on Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you so much, Jesus. I love you so much, Jesus.
Oh, come on, church. Come on, church. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, straight from the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, we receive that. We receive that. Oh, come on, church. Come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, if you want to step out of your seat a little bit, we'll break protocol. If you want to come down back to the front and pray and, and cry before God, you can do that. Hallelujah. Make yourself comfortable right now and worship Him. It's time for a celebration. It's time to celebrate. Come on, ain't no God like our God. Oh, yeah. Jesus, come on, he saved your soul. He saw you at your worst and said, I still love you. He knows what you did behind the door, but God said, I still care. You're still mine. You're still mine. You're still mine. It's time to celebrate. His mercy was new this morning. His grace was sufficient. He's slow to anger. He's quick to mercy. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Hallelujah. Let's go out dancing today. Let's go out dancing today. We're going to do it. Step out of the shadow. Step out of the grave. Break into the wild and don't be afraid. Running into wide open spaces, grace is waiting for you. It's like the weight has been lifted, grace is waiting. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is freedom Where the Spirit of the Lord is There is freedom There is freedom Come out of the dark Just as you are Into the fullness of His love For the Spirit is here Let there be freedom Let there be freedom Spaces, grace is waiting for you. Dance like the weight has been lifted. Grace is waiting. So the spirit of the Lord, of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is freedom. Come out of the dark. Out of the dark. Just as you are, into the fullness of His love. For the Spirit is here, let there be free. 
praise God. I'm, I'm not going to preach today, but I, I think I think it'd be remiss if I didn't at least read this one scripture. In Acts chapter 2 and verse number 1, it says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, there came from a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as fire. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. He did it! If you've not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and if you've not repented of your sins, there's no better time than right now. Right now. All you gotta do is talk to him. We, we just heard from God. He said, I know it anyway. Just talk to me. Repent of your sins, go down in Jesus' name. We got water, we got robes. You don't need anything but a willing heart. And the Bible said he'll fill you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's a promise unto you and to your children and to them that are far off. If you've not been baptized today, look at someone close to you and say, today's my day. I want to go down in Jesus' name today. How many we in? We're going to end this as we leave today celebrating the name of Jesus Christ. If the ushers could stand at the doors, the ushers could stand at the doors. They've been singing for a long time today. The Lord's going to bless them really good. Amen. You can leave whenever you're ready. Amen. They're going to sing a little bit. Because he did it. 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 He did it.
the Lord. You're dismissed if you want to. We got one more to baptize, but we got to wait just a few more minutes. If you're praying, pray as long as you'd like. We will continue playing and singing for as long as we can. May the good Lord bless you real good. Have a wonderful Sunday afternoon in Jesus. Tell someone about Jesus today. Tell someone about Jesus today. Congratulations to Kai. To Kai. That young man got baptized in Jesus' name today. May the Lord bless you. I got that Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says.